So if you're wanting to create a parametric model that will update to pretty much any size that you want, um, the easiest way would be to just create a couple of lines real quick in the shape that you're wanting. And then set up a couple of different ratios. Um, before I do that, I'm going to go to my parameters and I'm going to set up a quick user parameter. We're going to call this one number. And the equation of this is going to be um, a unit list. And we're going to put this at five. So basically, we want a five pointed star, like you're asking. So if we come back into here, then we can basically set this angle at 360. 360 divided by the number. Okay, and then this dimension, I'm going to call this one 360 divided by the number times 4. So then this still goes out and around, so if we draw a circle from the center to the tip, from the center to here, call this diameter equals 2. So it looks like we still have some motion. It looks like it didn't get stuck. So it's over there to the outside. So now we have a fully constrained sketch. So if we finish, we can extrude this little bit at point 0.1, let's say. We can then oops, mirror across the mirror plane here. And then do a circular pattern around the origin. Let's see. And call this one our number. And there you go. So now that we have our uh, shape, we can go here into our forms. At our form, you can drag your diameter in and drag your number in. So then we are controlled specifically by these two things. So if we wanted to have six, you'd then have six. If you wanted to have four, you'd have four. If you wanted to have 12, then you can have 12. You can change the diameter, the whole thing changes. Um, if you want, you can go to the extrusion. Instead of having that be an equation, you can just say, I want that at 20 degrees when you finish. And then it'll kind of change whatever that is. So if we go to 5, it'll give you a 20 degree star, so you won't have that flat on the top. Um, so that's kind of why we did the other dimension. So um, hopefully that gets you going and gets you set up parametrically. Um, but that's the easiest way to do um, if you know it's going to be patterned. Basically just draw one of them and then go from there.